Hello once again and this is J. Ashley Spencer. Hello, J. Ashley Spencer here. J. Ashley Spencer. This is J. Ashley Spencer. J. Ashley Spencer and Hello and this is J. Ashley Spencer once again and yeah. Excuse the messy hair. <laughs> Whatever. Um so basically uh well I've I wouldn't say I've restocked the old tank, but I put a few fish in there, like a few guppies. Sadly, one passed, but the others, the others look healthy. I don't know if you can see them They're up there. Yeah, ju just them three basically. And today I might be getting some fish, but in the meantime, I've got four babies, four babies, and now it's only two babies because they, they haven't died or anything. The babies have just grown up, and let me let me flip the camera and show you. So the babies should be in here. So we can see this one here and that one there are no longer babies. They're small, yes, but not as small as the other babies, especially that little black one. And then you have a slightly smaller yellowy one. So yeah, I want to put them in. Well, technically it's the old tank, but yeah, I want to put them back in there because I, I want that I want that tank to be a live bearing tank sort of thing. So I'm gonna I'm going to go to uh, some pet shop. I think I'll go with my my girlfriend, and um, I'm gonna let her pick out a fish. Probably it's probably not gonna be a uh, guppy. I think. She really likes the balloon mollies, so I'm go I'm gonna get one of them because they they'll sort of like get along. Guppies and mollies, they're they're all life bearing, they're all pretty peaceful. So yeah. So I want to also get you can get these baby loaches. <laughs> they're like tiny and like that. And they're they're weather loaches. They're the same as my big boys in here. But yeah, obviously they're smaller, and I want to sort of like. I've had this going for a while because they can adapt to cold water pretty easily. I might try and put them in my pond. I know that sounds like a long shot. I don't know if it actually happened. It, it might happen. But I, I, I just want to try it. There's no... Right, there you go. I kept getting like reflections. Look, you can see me right now. Obviously, you can see my hand, but yeah. But yeah, I'm not going to get any Tetra as of now, there's some big pet shop that, oh, it, it's like a um, garden centre, and it's got some big aquarium in it, and that's where I normally get the Tetra and all that. I'm not sure if I am going to actually get any, unless they got bigger bigger Tetra, but I'm scared that Yaman Gand, wherever he, wherever he may be, would eat them, and he, he definitely would. He, he has no chill, he just keeps eating. Where's he even gone? Normally he's just swimming about, I can see his tail back there, yeah. Uh, he, he just eats everything that is blue and red. So yeah. <laughs> um, I'll probably get a sucker for fish from there as well. Like, probably a... You can get baby bristling noses, which are literally minuscule. They're like, probably like that. I might get some of them. I don't know whether to put them in this tank. I'll probably put them in a smaller tank first. Sort of grow up, then I'll whack them in here. But the only thing is the poo problem. Like, this sand used to be white. I, I would get a sock, but my sock isn't white. Um, it was like it, it was like paper white. Uh, I don't know what to show you. It was like my bed. It was it was like that, and it's gone to that. So yeah, poo problem is that is a big problem. Plus, I keep getting stuff on the the inside of the tank. I got one of them little cleaner things. Like I said in the previous video, I thought this was going to be a bit... Like, when it was just like, oh, do you want small, medium, or large? I thought I thought the small was going to be like that. Like, sort of have that extra inch on it or something. Now this is small, so... Yeah. Big, big mess up. <laughs> I should have been like, oh yeah, can I see them? Because I could only see two. I was just like, oh... Probably, probably the large is like a brick or something, but it wasn't. The large, the large was like 
about five times the size of this, so almost a brick. But yeah, I'm gonna need to transfer. You can't even see them in the, the reflection. You can see a drink bottle and a cactus. Here's my cactus. Is it just me or does this look like a dick? A really spiky dick. <laughs> Whatever. I need to put that outside. Cactuses actually grow so well outside. And th this little one, because this one, I oh know it's still spiky, but they just they just grow. And then I haven't started it yet, but with these pumpkin seeds, I I got pumpkin seeds and like squash seeds on there. I I need to clear all this. <laughs> Most of this is like blast from the past. But with these, I'm gonna try and grow indoor pumpkins and outdoor pumpkins at the complete wrong time of the year, sort of thing. And see what I sort of come up with, like, see if they actually grow in the first place. If they grow, then would they flower? Would they would they produce their live vegetable? I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. So, yeah. I'm going to try and grow them by the pond so they're, like, constantly in water. Like, yeah, just try everything. Because they're so, like, they're so hardy that, yeah, it's just easy to grow. So, yeah. Um... Let's get on to. Can I just. I could probably just fish them out now. Uh, have I got a small bag? I like using sandwich bags, but I'm pretty sure I chucked all my sandwich bags away. Oh, I'll just use this. Don't even have to tie it up. I can just, like, whack the lid over it because they're, they're small and they're not going to push away. Oh my god. These fish are. T they're not terrifying, but. I just, I just jump out at you. I'm just gonna take all this, all this top off. It's all I really need. I'm gonna have to do this all one-handed. So, <laughs> see if we can do this in one fluid, fluid video. <sighs> Right, is the net. It's gonna be first two. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we got them both. I don't know if I filmed that, but hopefully I did. Now the hard bit. Um, is this gonna fit in there straight away? Right, let's, let's whack in there. I don't know whether it's easier just trying to pick them out. Come on, little man. If he would have flipped about, fallen in the big tank, then we would have had a. Ooh, we would have had a very different story. It would have been like a rush to sort of get him out. Right, there we go. They're both in there. Yeah, sweet. Can we sex them? Or... Focus in. Looks like they're both female. Okay, that, that's alright. I do already have two females. I'm about to hold this with my mouth. Oh no, I'm not. Can I somehow open this without cutting video? Yes, I can. Alright, and then all I do is whack that top bit on. And then they should be in there. There you go. Should have put more air in there, but whatever. They'll be alright. They they kind of they're kind of nearly the same size. Just a little bit more growing and they'll be alright. Try to add like quite a bit of like plants and all that sort of like keep them keep them happy and yeah hopefully they do all right hope all i'm saying is hopefully he's he's a boy i don't know i'm pretty sure he is but yeah let me yeah i think he is maybe hopefully <laughs> Hopefully. 
I haven't really got any of his like his type before. Right. So that leaves us with just two babies in here. So I kind of would like to get rid of this altogether, but I'm scared that if I get a new fish, then something will eat my babies. This this big tank is perfect for having having that in there because it's, it's already got so much space and it's just like yeah. Especially my my mate, he has a tank similar size to this, and they haven't even given birth, sort of thing. So yeah. I don't, I don't know how they'll do, but yeah, let's just hope. So this has been like a really short video. I'm sorry for doing all these short videos. Um, mm, could I extend it? I don't know. No, oh, screw it. I'm going to attach a little bit onto um, me releasing them and getting the new fish. So yeah. Uh, yeah. See you in a bit.